Hey everyone, this is Marbozir and this is part 24 of Let's Play Civilization 5 Gods and Kings. And before I actually started recording this part, I've been thinking about what's the best way to go about this. And I don't think I want to just declare war right now, because I only have three frigates here. There's no way I will be able to sink more than one ship in this turn. And if I don't do that, I'm definitely going to lose some of these. And I can't really afford losing any of these units right now. So the best way to go about this would be actually getting open borders. Like with the Spanish, the Mongols and landing as many units as I can on their territory. Saludos. Let's see if I can get Continuando. open borders with the Spanish. Yeah, I can. Alright, so that's one. And I can probably get open borders with the Mongols quite easily. Oh, I need to pay them for it, probably. Since I took 50 gold from them for open borders. But there we go. And now I can actually start landing here. And that's what I need to do. So I'm going to start doing that. If they take Carthage before I can take it, well, that will be annoying, but I don't want to risk losing too many land units, especially the highly upgraded ones. If I lost my 4 range artillery units, that would be a huge blow for any future war. Great, this ship is blocking the way. This is not the most optimal way to land my army, but whatever. It's what needs to be done. I need to land the artillery units first and foremost. Like I said, I can't afford losing any of them, especially the upgraded ones. So I'm going to need at least one more turn. This guy has four range, so I need to land this one as well. Hopefully this worker is going to move. That would be nice. And this sheep as well. And once I land the reasonable majority of my units, then I'm probably going to declare war. Although I wonder if this is the last city. I'm not quite sure. Let's see, what can I build in Delhi? Anything that gives happiness? I don't think so. No. I guess I can speed up my culture gains a little bit. Alright. This guy can go over here, I suppose. And that's this turn pretty much done. It's a shame I don't have more ships, but it's a bit too late to fix that now. Alright, next turn time. Let's see what's going to happen now. If this is the last city the Carthaginians got, then... I'm not sure what I'm going to do then. <laughs> That's actually a good question. What am I going to do if this is the last city the Carthaginians got? I suppose I'd need to declare war on someone else then, like the Spanish. And yeah, I'm already pissing off the Spanish with my huge army. I suppose I could sign declaration of friendship with them, or just invade them. I need to explore this fog of war a little bit and see what's here.
Yeah, but this city is about to fall. I don't think I will be able to take it before the Carthaginians lose it. Doesn't look like it. Oh wait, no. Uh, 12 science? That's not worth building university for. I don't like these privateers. I don't like them at all. Especially since one of them is Carthaginian. But anyway, let's continue landing. I can explore a little bit with my cavalry and see what's here. Yeah, I think this is the last city the Carthaginians got. It certainly looks that way. Yeah, the Spanish aren't going to like this army. <laughs> That's a lot of artillery near Salamanca. I could hit Salamanca so hard with all these artillery units. But that wouldn't be a great idea with this cavalry here, obviously. But yeah, like I said, I actually think this is the last city the Carthaginians got. There's no other city bordering it, as you can see right now. So the big question is, what do I do now? Because it looks like Carthage will fall before I can do anything about it. Yeah, it's definitely going to fall. Look at how many units Mongols have here. Two cannons. Yeah, two cannons enough. Two cannons alone is enough to bring this city to one health on the next turn. So this city is pretty much lost. So the big question now is, what do I do about that? Madrid is a little bit too far. I suppose I could move all my units into the Mongol territory and then declare war on Spanish. I think that's really the best course of action right now. I don't see any better option right now at least. Let's see what happens on the next turn though, just in case there are some more Carthaginian cities hidden somewhere in that fog of war. I don't think there are, but we'll, we're going to find out very very soon. Alright, let's see what's going to happen now then, this is going to be interesting. But yeah, this is not exactly what I had planned. <laughs> this city is going to fall. Unless the Mongols are bad at tactics. 25,000 gold, wow. Yeah, the Byzantinians are going to be a tough nut to crack. And yeah, the Mongols took Carthage. Not unexpected. Yeah, 
Yeah, like I need a great merchant right now. Well, it looks like Carthage still has one city somewhere. I have no idea where. But I think that means that I need to change my target. I have declaration of friendship with the Mongols, so I'm obviously not going to attack the Mongols. I should probably just attack the Spanish. I think that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, this is a bit unfortunate. But hey, I have more than enough units to take some Spanish cities. If I knew from the start I'm going to attack the Spanish, I would probably just land somewhere near Madrid. But whatever, I'm already here, so might as well take some of these. Do I actually have salt right now? Yeah, I do. I'm trading with someone for it. Actually, I think I'm trading with the Spanish for it. So if I declare war on them, I'm going to lose it. So that Salamanca is a city I will probably want to keep. Alright, let's land the rest. I'm going to need to move out of their territory before I actually declare war. Is this actually part of the land that doesn't belong to anyone? Yeah, it is. Let's see what's here. Not a whole lot, just a ton of Mongol units. Let's see the victory progress screen. Austria completed 3 out of 5 social policy branches. Interesting. Very interesting. Hmm. One thing I'm a bit afraid of is that the Byzantinians might simply get a diplomatic victory. They have so much gold they could definitely bribe 10 city-states easily. No problem at all. Hmm. We'll see. Yeah, what do I do with this great merchant? I guess I'll just send him somewhere. Like here or so. That's going to take a while, but I can wait. I suppose I could upgrade this. I have the money. And this one as well. It's a shame I can't build destroyers right now. They would be very useful. But anyway, I do think I'm going to declare war on the Spanish once I'm ready with all this. But that's going to take a few turns since I need to position my units. I do have more than enough to take some Spanish cities, no problem. Mongolians are actually stronger than me right now, at least in terms of pure score, as you can see. But the Byzantinians are still far ahead of everyone else. I wonder where 
the other Carthaginian cities are probably just one or two cities. I'm guessing they're somewhere midland. Man, nice. nice bullet. Oh, that was my two research agreements. Let's have a look. So the next step is going to be electronics, I guess. That will actually allow me to build battleships. Although I should get biology first so I can actually see where oil is on the map. That might be useful. <laughs> hmm, yeah. Seeing oil on the map is generally a very useful ability to have. My declaration of friendship with Austria expired. Yeah, I'm not getting a new one. I don't need it. The main thing I need to do here is securing my artillery units just to get them away from the front and hide them behind my infantry units. Once I do that, I can just declare war on the Spanish. I don't need like perfect formations or anything like that. This is pretty much good enough on this side. Want to buy more room here though. Like really. Man, the Babylonian the Mongols have a lot have uh, a lot of units. They have quite a lot of artillery units. Two cannons here. There were two cannons somewhere near Carthage. It's going to be fun when the time comes. How did I get this? What? Oh, that's my city I made. <laughs> Brain fart moment. <laughs> I thought for a second, what the heck is this city? I totally forgot about it. Yeah, I'm going to build a worker so I can build a mine on this coal. Since obviously that was the entire reason why I made a city here. I guess this guy needs to wait one turn, probably, or maybe not. I need more room here for this artillery, like seriously. The frigates are going to be useful for taking Salamanca as well. Might as well get them in position. Not much I can do here. Oh yeah, I don't have coal to actually upgrade this caravel, that's a bit unfortunate. Maybe I should just buy this worker. Although I don't think I'm in a huge rush to, up to upgrade these caravels. <laughs> no, I'm not. Anyway, one more turn and I should be ready to attack the Spanish. Maybe I can convince the Mongolians to attack the Spanish with me. And how's my spy status? I was taking that, uh, I was trying to influence the city-state in the middle of Spanish territory with my spy. That might be nice before actually starting the war. Yeah, rigging elections, zero turns. If they succeed, 
I will probably just bribe my way to alliance with that city-state before declaring war on Spanish. Yeah, election rigging failure, so I didn't succeed. How's my influence doing with cities? Looking fine. But yeah, it's a shame I didn't succeed with Colombo. It would be nice having them as ally. Wow, Byzantinians have 159 influence with the city. Holy crap. So if I wanted to bribe my way to Alliance, I would need to spend 3000 gold? Yeah, that's not going to happen anytime soon. I might as well just give up on that now. <laughs> How about here? 279? Yeah, whatever. Wow, the Byzantinians are allied with everything. So they could actually win a diplomatic victory. They are pretty low over here, so I think I'm just going to move my spy to Quebec City. Let's do that. Where is it? There we go. And three turns to steal the technology from the Byzantinians. But yeah, I'm seriously afraid right now that once the vote comes and the United Nations is built, the Byzantinians might just straight up win a diplomatic victory. So I need to do something about that while I still have the time to do anything about that. If I wait too long, it's going to be too late. Alright, this is good enough, I think. So, I should probably just declare war right now. Might be a good idea to get this Great Prophet to safety first. Losing Great Prophet would suck big time. Although I can just block the way for this frigate and I will be fine. Hmm, do I want to wait one more turn or just declare war right now? I think I'm going to play it safe and wait for this great prophet to get to safety. Yeah, I'm just going to play it safe and wait one more turn. Not to mention I can move this artillery one hangs back, like this. But yeah, I can already see that the rest of this game is going to be quite interesting. One of my main priorities should be preventing the Byzantinians from being able to win the game. It would suck getting close to victory, then having them win the game. That's what happened in my other Let's Play, when the Americans won the game a few turns before I was able to win. That was a bit unfortunate. And by a bit, I mean it sucked. <laughs> So I wouldn't want this to happen in this game. I could ima imagine me being like one, two capitals away from victory, including the uh, Byzantinian capital, and then they win the game by diplomatic victory. And I, I seriously hate the term the diplomatic victory. Diplomatic victory here has nothing to do with diplomacy. <laughs> like, really. Is mostly about having a lot of gold.
And looks like I'm almost ready. New unit. And I got a new policy. I think I moved the wrong unit. Did I move some unit from here or what? Yeah, I moved this guy, didn't I? That's not what I wanted to do. Ah. Oh well, whatever. I wanted to move this guy in here, but instead I think I moved the unit down there. I hate when that happens. But anyway, I'm going to grab populism, obviously. Just in time as well. Yeah, before I actually start the war, I'm going to secure my great prophet. He's way too valuable to risk losing him. So that's probably going to be the next turn. Someone stole archaeology from one of my cities. That's a bit annoying. Oh well, they can have it. Alright, I'm pretty much ready over here. But I'm going to wait one more turn before I actually start the war. I don't think I have anything else in Spanish territory. No, I don't. The Mongols are actually at war with the Spanish. I didn't realize that. I should have checked that. But that's actually a great turn of events. Oh no, Gingis Khan just declared war on Isabella right now. That's great for me. That's awesome for me. I couldn't have imagined a better scenario right now. So I'm going to jump in and declare war myself. Saludos. All right, awesome. So this is going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> Let's ruin this rifleman's day. He's about to be sour about life. I thought this is a four-range artillery. <laughs> I was going to bombard him with this one as well. This one is four-range. No, oh, this one could sh uh, shoot this sheep. So I'm not going to use him just yet. And this one can shoot the sheep as well. All of these can. So first I'm actually going to bombard this frigate with my ships. Oh yeah, it should be... ...down in two shots. And now it goes down. Nice. But yeah, like I said, this war is going to be fun. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> So let's ruin this guy's day now. He's so dead. But he's quite tough actually. But he has no chance. Alright, looking good. 
two turns and I get biology. Hopefully there should be some oil in my territory. That would suck if there isn't any. I should have brought the second great general over. But it's a bit too late for that now. Oh, this one is only free range, so I can't shoot this guy. But I can do something like this. Yeah, I think I'm going to build a police station here. I don't like others stealing my technologies. Alright, let's see what's going to happen now. I'm probably just going to burn some of these cities, obviously. Oh, hi. Yeah, whatever. Denounce me all you want. I don't care. Yeah, whatever. The only thing I'm concerned about right now is to not let any other civilization win the game before I can win. So, the, so that's mostly the Byzantinians right now. Right. This should be fun. Wow, he didn't go down? Wow, that sucks. Oh well. Let's take care of these now. This guy first. I don't think I can bombard anything with this one. No, I can't. Let's see now. This guy has 4 hex range. This is going to be a long, long war. I pretty much expect to be at war permanently until I take every single capital of this continent. Hmm, I could finish him off with my cavalry, but that would put me in bombardment range of Salamanca. That's definitely not what I want. I'm just going to keep building a constant stream of reinforcements even though it's going to take a while for them to actually get there but they will get there eventually I could actually land some of these units behind the lines as a distraction sort of Alright I guess I can move this guy forward a bit. Uh, this is in bombardment range of Bryansk, or whatever the correct pronunciation is. <laughs> Alright. I definitely want to be careful with any artillery units. They are my most valuable war asset, pretty much. There's so little room here, 
to actually spread out my army. Oh, and I stole a technology. Nice. I'm about to get biology myself, so obviously I'm not getting that. I'm going to get electronics, since that was going to be my next research target anyway. So let's do that. There's a basic... Nice. And next turn I get biology. Uh, but I think that's going to be in the next video, because this one is getting quite long now. So I'm going to finish it here and continue the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.